Welcome back. Chinese Premier Li Keqiang is pushing for closer ties with Central and Eastern Europe. He's in Romania to boost trade and infrastructure projects. Roy Ruttenberg was there. This meeting is being seen as a key stepping stone for the Chinese leadership. This is Li Keqiang's first visit to the region since taking office back in March. Now, uh, during his address here to the 16 leaders from Central and Eastern European countries, he specifically said that he wants to see a greater, quote, balance uh, in Europe. If you look at the figures, the trade between China and Europe, you'll note that only one-tenth of it comes from Central and Eastern Europe. Some of these are the poorest countries in Europe, and it appears that the Chinese leadership is committed to ensuring that there's a greater balance here of equity. Now, uh, we saw a series of deals being signed here, uh, deals ranging in all sorts of, uh, of uh, areas, including energy, infrastructure, IT, agriculture. Uh, uh, China uh, will be importing uh, all, uh, meats from, from this region, and it will be sending over its expertise uh, to invest in infrastructure projects here, thermal, thermoelectric energy, nuclear energy here in Romania. Uh, we understand that there's been a deal signed between Hungary and, and uh, Serbia to build a high-speed rail line. It will be the first high-speed rail line east of uh, Austria and Germany. And the economic potential here, of course, is not just that initial investment and, of course, China's returns that it will get on that investment, but the long-term growth, the jobs that will come, the greater connectivity, at least, that's what these countries uh, see the potential from these sorts of deals. Now, on Tuesday, uh, Li Keqiang will address the Romanian parliament. He is, of course, China's top parliamentarian, and no doubt people will be listening for a reaffirmation of his commitment to this region.